we wanted to speak because we have a somewhat different perspective on Dennis Houston uh, and wanted to share the personal perspective. As a Rice student, it is easy to imagine Dennis Houston as a permanent fixture at the university. But he has had a wonderful life outside of the university as well. And I want to talk to you about some of his life outside of the university. He's a good cook, but he is most proud of how he cooks spaghetti and oatmeal. <laughs> he loves good food, but I think he could spend the rest of his life and eat nothing but spaghetti and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and cereal. What we really want to talk to you about though today is our dad as our father. Um, we want to tell you about how much this man loved roller coasters. He would pick us up early from school one day a year and we would go to Astroworld and the three of us would race around the park from coaster to coaster. And all three of us remember one particularly glorious uncrowded day when we rode Grease Lightning 16 times in a row <laughs> and every single time our dad would shout, God, zero to 60 in less than a second. <laughs> We, uh, we want to tell you, too, um, that though we don't remember that production of Midsummer where he played bottom, we do remember his ass's head. Because sometimes, after a long afternoon of grading, he would emerge from his study wearing that bottom's head <laughs> and chase us and the other neighborhood kids around our yard. We also remember how much we enjoyed our long car rides between Houston and Massachusetts each summer. While our mom drove, our dad would read. We remember most memorably, uh, probably Charlotte's Web, because when we got to the end, he couldn't finish while he sobbed along with us. <laughs> Among our favorite days were Tuesday afternoons. He would pick us up at Roberts Elementary and take us to the movies. Yes, Tuesday was movie day. And there's little in life more enjoyable than getting to spend a Tuesday afternoon with your father at the movies while other, all the other kids' fathers were at the office. I remember the fishing. You see, my dad gets these obsessions. Stereo equipment, flashlights, <laughs> running. Well, for a time, his obsession was fishing. He ordered every Bass magazine he could find, and he researched them trying to find the depth finder that would land us in a school of largemouth bass. He never did. <laughs> but it didn't really matter because I learned a lot anyway on those trips. My dad taught me how to cast a spinning rod. He also taught me how to land my lure right next to a log. And he taught me that how, whether or not you succeed, you're gonna do everything you do as right as you can. Our dad is a great teacher and a great father because he is a father to his students and a teacher to his children. We love you, dad.